Science Jesse. Welcome back to the Imperial Academy. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to this channel because I know you want to. All right, so here is part of my collection. It is Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper, the trilogy collection released in 2004. These were the prices for these. I, I six dollars, maybe five or six bucks back in the day, uh, 2004, or it could be maybe eight dollars, maybe. But here are some of the figures that came out with. You had the R2D2, the Bubba Fett, Stormtrooper, Chewie, and right here is the back of the card, original trilogy collection. These are really, really cool to have. I only have this one and a few other ones. I have to go back and look. Still sealed, and the hard plastic, which is really cool, it has the Imperial insignia, and you have the Rebel insignia. I would like to get the George Lucas figure. That would be awesome. So that's the figure. Is it me or is his chest orange? I, I don't know if it's they're trying to make it look vintage. I think they're trying to make it look vintage. So these are really cool back in the day. And some of these had a UPC where you can send it in and get like a what was it? Oh God. A coin maybe? It was a coin. I don't remember. Dang, I'm losing my memory, guys. So up next, you guys know um, Power of the Force figures, Shadow of the Force, uh, Shadow of the Empire figures. I love, I love, I love collecting these figures. I have Leia, Bosch, Shadows of the Empire. This uh, character is based on the book of Shadows of the Empire. She actually uh, takes this disguise and she goes to, she, what, her and Luke are trying to find Han. Um, Luke is dressed up as a biker scout or something. Chewie is, you know, dresses up like a bounty hunter and Leia is a bounty hunter herself, you know, in both disguise. So the figures you can see in the back here Prince Seashore, there's Chewbacca, there's Luke. Oh yeah, Luke was dressed as an Imperial Guard disguise. That was his disguise. And then you had Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar was kind of like another Han Solo, another badass who, you know, said his ship was the fastest. You have Han Solo and Carbonite, and then Prin Princess Leia, and you had a Jedi Luke Skywalker. I think the Jedi Luke Skywalker was Power of the Force, and they would... I think um, they gave out that figure at the movie theaters. I'm not which sure which movie theaters it did, but they passed out those figures. So I love, love these figures. I haven't collected them all. I don't have all of them. Kenner, 1-800-TRUTH-FAN. Hell yeah, 1996. Came out in 1996. Shadows of the Empire takes place right after Empire Strikes Back and right in the beginning of Return of the Jedi. So these are some good figures. The Shadows of the Empire, Shadows of the Empire figures um, don't have that bulkiness that a uh, steroid Luke or steroid Han. Uh, so they made them look different. So there we go. I love these figures. I haven't finished collecting all of them, but I would like to finish them one day. But, you know, there's money and time is time, but it's just, you know, honestly, it's money. So I need to come into more money to get more toys. So once again, guys, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let's keep on going. To keep me up there. Keep watching. Share my videos. Get me uh, out there. Get me out into the wild, into the public view. Alright guys, so once again I'm Jesse, thank you for stopping by the Imperial Academy, may the force be with you all.